somehow Mace Windu has returned. Surprise, mother Legendary actor Samuel L. Jackson just confirmed that he believes that Mace Windu is still alive. And not only that, but he is all in on a Mace Windu Disney Plus show. Okay, wait a second, let's rewind all the way back to 2005, because this is what happened to Mace Windu at the end of Episode 3, Revenge of the Sith. His arm gets chopped off by Anakin Skywalker and Palpatine tosses him out the window of one of the highest buildings on Coruscant. Well, first of all, let's take a second to really appreciate the storytelling here by George Lucas. The character with the last name Windu dies by getting thrown out the window. It's ironic. However, after his canon death in 2005, many fans began to wonder, what if Mace Windu could have survived that fall? And for almost 19 years, Lucasfilm and Disney have kept quiet about whether or not Mace Windu survived the fall. And up until this moment, we were led to believe that he is, in fact, dead. But everything changes today. Empire Magazine is doing exclusive interviews with the cast and crew of the prequel trilogy to celebrate the 25th anniversary of the prequels. And now, for the first time ever, there's actually hope for the return of the purple lightsaber-wielding Jedi, Mace Windu. As Samuel L. Jackson sat down for this interview that revealed that he believes that Mace Windu is still alive. And before you say that's just Sam fanboy dreaming and wanting another role in Star Wars that could never happen, let's break this down. Mace Windu's canon death is from falling out one of the highest buildings on Coruscant with one arm gone. So first of all, having one arm be chopped off in Star Wars is not a very fatal thing. We've seen that happen many times throughout the history of the galaxy far, far away, and all of these characters seem to have survived. Luke Skywalker gets his hand chopped off, he survives. Count Dooku gets both his arms chopped off, and although his head gets chopped off moments later, he did survive the two arms being chopped off. Anakin Skywalker gets his arm chopped off in Attack of the Clones, and he survived. But there are two main issues when it comes to Mace Windu surviving. The first one is the fall itself, and the second one is explaining where he's been if he survived. Now the fall is a little strange, because we know that Mace is alive when he's thrown out the window because of this grunt that we hear him make. And a lot of characters throughout Star Wars have survived falls from such a height. Luke Skywalker in The Empire Strikes Back, Darth Maul, even after getting cut in half, he still survives a very far fall. Anakin Skywalker in Episode 2 when he says, You'll excuse me? And even Ahsoka Tano on Mandalore. And in the case of Mace, he's on Coruscant, where there's millions, if not billions, of shuttles or ships flying around the planet. And in a very similar way, as Ahsoka Tano gets to the surface of Mandalore during the Siege of Mandalore, Mace might be able to jump from ship to ship to ship on his way down to the surface. Personally, I think Mace Windu could survive this fall, but the second issue is what I have a problem with. If Mace did survive, where has he been? After trying to single-handedly kill Palpatine in Revenge of the Sith and losing his arm to Anakin after not trusting Anakin for the whole prequel trilogy, if Mace survived, wouldn't his mission be for the rest of his life to stop Palpatine and Anakin from ruling over the entire galaxy? And if that is what's going on here, and Mace does make it his one goal to stop Vader and Palpatine in this possible Mace Windu Disney Plus show just shows Vader and Palpatine killing Mace Windu again and then there really is no point of having Mace Windu survive the fall. It's probably a better ending for this character if he just died in Revenge of the Sith. So even though Samuel L. Jackson seems to think that Mace Windu could survive that fall, and honestly, I do too. And it would be really cool to see a Mace Windu Disney Plus show. There would need to be a lot of explanation as to why Mace Windu's not involved with the events of Kenobi, Rebels, the original trilogy, The Mandalorian, and more. But if it is possible to show that Mace Windu survived, then wouldn't The Bad Batch Season 3 be the perfect place to reintroduce the character after Order 66? Well, that third season's only a week away. And if you need to catch up on all you need to know about The Bad Batch, go watch this video I did right here and tell me, do you think Mace Windu survived that fall?